Hello! Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a WebGL build of your project and how to upload it onto itch.io for sharing with your classmates. So I have made just a simple scene here. Basically we'll, we'll see it when we get it in itch.io but when you walk around the lights turn on. Um, so it's just something interactive that we can see is working when we get to itch.io. So the way, once your project is finished, the way that you get ready to build it out is by going to the file build settings. Now here, um, what we want to do is drag and drop any scenes that we have in our project. So what I'm imagining is that the majority of you probably only have one scene. So for me, this example, I'm only using this sample scene. Um, but if you have more than one scene, if you're a little bit more advanced and you're switching between scenes, you want to drag them in here in the order in which you experience them. The most important one being that the first one that you see is the one that's at the top. Um, once you do that, you'll want to uh, go here to your WebGL build and then you'll basically just click build. Now, if this isn't available, so for example, um, I don't have iOS installed. Um, so if you go to your WebGL build and you see that there's no module loaded, what you need to do is go to your Unity Hub page and um, here to installs, you'll see the current version that's installed. Click a little, the three dots, click add modules, and then you will click on the WebGL build support and you will need to install it. It'll take a little while, um, but that's it. After you do that, you should see it that it is available. Um, so once it's added, you would go to it and click the little switch platform button. I've already switched to it, but um, here, once you've switched to it, you would click build. Now, um, once you build it, um, I'm going to say, give it a name, um, 3D environments example. And I'm gonna put mine on my desktop. Okay, and it's going to, okay, so the um, build will take a little while, but once you're finished, it will pop up on your desktop. You'll probably get a little alert that said your build is successful. Now, once this is successful, it's time to move over into itch.io, but first we're going to make a uh, compressed a zip file of this. So I'm going to compress my, here we go. So now I have a zip file that I can upload. So I'm going to go into itch.io. You'll need to make an account, but once you have an account, you can upload a new project. Now, um, here's a couple things that we have to do. We have to give it a name. So give yours a good name. Um, give it a fancy URL that matches, type in a description, um, uh, tell it what type of project you're uploading, so we can just say games, what kind of project, this is important, downloadable, switch it to HTML, your release status, you could say release, prototype, whatever you want to say. No pricing, we're not charging. Zero dollars. We're going to upload our file. So go to the desktop. It's going to upload. Now, this is important in your settings. It's going to be um, not an executable file. Um, it is a file will be played in the browser. So this is important, you have to set it twice. Once here, HTML file, and then once here in the upload. Embed it in the page. We can auto detect the size. Um, and we can, you know, if you want people to be able to make it full, full screen. Um, I wouldn't do the automatically start just because I say it's not recommended. Um, here's some details. Wait. If you have your story map, it might be a good idea to add a picture here of what your map is so that we can see it. 
You can pick a genre if you want. Yeah, maybe visual novel, storytelling, other. Um, if you want to tag it, custom noun. If you want it to be described as a story and you know, whatever. So this is just some fun stuff. Community comments, um, you want to make sure that comments are enabled. And then when you publish it, note here, it's gonna be a draft when you publish it. So I'm going to save this. Loading our game. Notice this is a draft. Um, when I run my game, it's going to load. And so notice we can walk around and the lights are turning on. So that's the project. Um, so notice here are some details. Um, it's a draft. Once you're finished, you need to go back. You can click on the draft button, but you need to go back and actually publish it. So click save. So this is important. We won't be able to see it unless it is public. Okay, that's it.